Let's do a problem. In this problem, Rahim exchanged a rupees 1000 currency note to get several currency notes of rupees 20 and rupees 10. We have to form a linear equation between the number of notes in both denominations. So here we have to form a linear equation between the currency notes of rupees 10 and rupees 20. Let's discuss the approach for doing this question. Think of the unknown quantities here. The unknown quantities here are number of rupees 10 notes and number of rupees 20 notes. So let's take the help of variables in denoting these. So let the number of rupees 10 notes be X and let the number of rupees 20 notes be Y. Can we say here that X plus Y is equal to 1000? Let's check this. So let's suppose out of 1000, rupees 500 are in rupees 10 notes. and rupees 500 are in rupees 20 notes so that means number of 10 rupee notes will be 500 divided by 10 so here we will have 50 notes and number of rupees 20 notes will be 500 divided by 20 so that will be 25 notes So in this case x plus y that means addition of rupees 10 notes and rupees 20 notes will be 50 plus 25 that is 75 and that is not equal to 1000. So we cannot say x plus y is equal to 1000 this is wrong. If number of 10 rupee notes is x then Money in 10 rupee notes will be 10 multiplied by x and if number of 20 rupee notes is y then money in rupees 20 notes will be 20y. Total money is 1000 so that means here our linear equation in two variable will be 10x plus 20y is equal to 1000. Now let's look at the graph of this linear equation in two variables which we have formed. This is the graph for linear equation 10x plus 20y equal to 1000 and we can see that it is a straight line. So this confirms that the equation we obtained is a linear equation. One more interesting thing which we can see from this graph is that as the number of rupees 10 notes increases, the number of rupees 20 notes decreases. So if the number of rupees 10 notes is 20, number of rupees 20 notes is 40 and we can see here that if the number of rupees 10 notes becomes 60, the number of rupees 20 notes decreases and it becomes 20. So in this video we learned representing a quantity using a linear equation.